More than 2,000 Americans die from heart disease every day, making it the leading cause of death for both women and men, according to the American Heart Association. Dr. Nitza Alvarez, cardiologist at Tri-County Heart Institute, shares why a heart-healthy diet can have a big impact on your health. Nutrition plays a significant role in cardiovascular health. It is part of what we call the lifestyle modification. We know that there is some preventable risk factor for cardiovascular disease and there's some non-preventable risk factors. Out of the preventable risk factors, we know that diet it has a big implication on it. We're looking, when we're talking about cardiac diet, the American Heart Association recommend the DASH diet, which is a diet to target blood pressure to help reduce blood pressure or prevent hypertension. Essentially what it is, is a diet that is rich in fruits and vegetables, grain, and lean meats, mostly emphasizing poultry, fish, less red meat. So, that is most of what we recommend to our patient when it comes to what is, what is a good cardiac diet. You probably have heard about Mediterranean diet. People say, why is such a big thing about the Mediterranean diet? It's basically because it's very rich on the good unsaturated fat. So when we're looking at our patients, we're looking to reduce the saturated fat and the trans fat. Saturated fat are the fat that comes from animal products butter, cheese, milk, red meat. And then when we talk about the trans fat is a lot of the things that are processed can have trans fat. And trans fat will increase your bad cholesterol, lower your good cholesterol, increasing your risk for having cardiovascular disease. So we're trying to reduce saturated fat and trans fat, increase your monounsaturated fat. Anything that is unsaturated, mono, poly, unsaturated, it is the good thing for you. So the monounsaturated fat, you can get it from the olive oil, the avocado oil, the nuts, walnuts. So that's why the Mediterranean diet is so good for patients to, for prevention of cardiovascular disease. There are other sources of uh, unsaturated fat like omega-3. So fish is very rich in omega-3. Mostly the fatty fishes, we said, you know, salmon. Yeah, salmon is the most popular, no? But the tuna is also. Uh, sardines, herring. So if you can increase at least two portions a week of one of those fish, it will increase your omega-3 levels, which also increase your unsaturated fat levels, which reduce also inflammation in your body and helps to reduce your cholesterol. You'll find information on Dr. Nitza Alvarez and the Tri-County Heart Institute when you click the Healthier Heart Story Link icon online at yourhometownhealth.com.